Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Insuxan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are switching gears and we're going back to Sailor Moon, the original anime. I did the first two episodes a while ago, then I got side chat with other shows and now we're back on this. I tried to do stuff like in blocks so people don't get too bored and they want to fix all the stuff they can. So this is season one, episode three of Sailor Moon called The Mysterious Sleeping Sickness. So we start off with Beryl is kind of rushing Jedi. And he has a plan, and then we cut to where Usagi is listening to a radio show called like Midnight Zero. And then we cut to where Luna is worried that Usagi is not getting enough sleep. And then um, they see about this sleeping sickness on the news from like her dad. And her dad kind of wants the sickness because he wants some sleep. And then the mom fusses him out over that, and Usagi is running late again. But her teacher was later than her, and basically um, she falls asleep at the desk, and the teacher stands for Runa. And then our K guy sees Luna, and then we cut to her, um, Haruna is taken away because she just fell asleep and she wouldn't wake up. And she had this weird flower on like her chest, like a pendant, it's like a flower pendant thing. And um, Sagi gets kind of jealous because she wants to sleep too. And then we cut to where uh, the radio station said Midnight Zero doesn't exist. Then Usagi busts into Mamaru and they're very catty towards each other. And then we cut to where uh, Naru likes Mamaru and Usagi buzzes her out for that. And then she's going to write a love letter and that was a fail because she can't really think of anything. And then she goes to the radio station to get inspiration from the, the DJ that hosts the show. And the car said that show doesn't, is not here. And then the station, oh, let's see, then, oh, so then uh, Midnight Zero comes on at 12 and reads Naru's letter. And she got a flower brooch. And then she got really tired at school next morning because she opened it at school. Then Usagi went tired too because she was trying to fix her and the flowers worked her energy as well. It made her fall asleep. And th then she went to a dream about to see the mask and then Luna wakes her up. Then we got to where Jedi is very happy with all the energy that he's got. So then we got to where Luna gives Usagi a disguise pin to get into the radio building. So Usagi barges in as like a radio newscaster and tells the people on the air not to touch the brooch and then the lady goes after her she transforms into a monster and then she then it's like a transform into sailor moon and runs for it and then does the tiara and she's gone and then it's versus jedi and that just was not happening and jedi was about to do some serious damage when tetsuda mass stopped him and then he decided to leave then everyone is awake and then we cut to where, um, <laughs> so we, then we cut to the next day at school where Sagi's writing a love letter to Tetsuya the mask and then Naru is trying to read it and they're running around the classroom and then Miss Haruna comes in and then she goes running around the room trying to read it as well because she's a sap for that. And that was the end of the episode. Actually, a ton of stuff happened in this episode. I didn't think it was going to be, like, so wordy. Because, like, with the new one, you get your information, sure. But usually, like, usually when I record a video for that, it's usually about, like, three to three and a half minutes. I'm about on four, and I had not talked about my main points yet. Which I thought was interesting, because um, there's a lot more dialogue in here than it is in the newer anime. Which I guess is a good thing, because I always liked... The old anime. So, anyway, uh, this is my review for this one because I do remember seeing this one in the English dub uh, when I was a kid, and I gave it a B plus just because you know there's like a couple things in there. I was just like, <sighs> like if it's just there's just a couple key things, and I just like eh, it's whatever. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the episode. It was still fun to watch. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did for this. Uh, I really like the action scenes. Um, I, I do like the progression of this anime. I like how it goes a lot slower than um, the newer one. Because, like, I think it was, like, almost 200 episodes of, of this anime. And you just kind of hit... Um, 
and the new one just kind of hit the ground running. You get your basics, and then you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Here, there's a lot more buildup, a lot more suspense, and like Usagi transformed from a crybaby to how she is um, towards the end. I feel like it's more of a progression, and it's more, I guess, believable. So um, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to enjoy the series because there's definitely some I definitely haven't seen. And this will have like a reaction review like on the title. And the ones I've seen will just have like a review. So anyway, that's one it for this video. So this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next episode. Bye everybody.